Good morning, guys. I hate to be a uh, Debbie Downer, but our trailer was stolen, stolen this morning. So last night, we needed to charge our trailer, and we can't technically really use our solar panels here because we don't really get a lot of sun with the, the tree coverage. We're not too far from Lake Sylvia Campground. We've talked about it in our vlogs prior before. And so we took it to Lake Sylvia Campground to let it get a charge overnight. Came back, we last saw the trailer at 9.30 last night. Came back this morning around eight and the trailer is gone. We have a lock on the tongue. It does not look like they even cut the lock because there's no shavings anywhere. There's no metal shavings. There's no broken glass anywhere. It literally looks like we came and we picked it up ourselves. We have witnesses say they saw the trailer when they left to go hunting at six o'clock this morning. So it was there at 6 a.m. Um, so it's only been a few hours. We have immediately came to the ranger station right down the road and talked to the deputies. They've already put out um, around to all the counties, Pulaski and Saline County, and they, we've got troopers patrolling the roads over here. So we're in good spirits that hopefully we can get it back. If not, we do have insurance on the trailer. And I'll tell y'all, Arkansas is really messing with us because you know that we totaled our Hummer, which we wanted to give y'all an update on the Hummer. We should be getting it back next week. But now our trailer is gone. We've put all posts out on Facebook, Instagram, and even on YouTube. Um, today we were supposed to make a uh, camping vlog for you guys for next week. And it looks like we're just gonna have to do this for the vlog because we have no food, we have no cooker, we have, um, we have our tent and we have our um, bedding and clothes and that's pretty much it. So I was just telling Cody this is crazy because we leave our trailer, you know we leave our trailer all the time. It has a lock on the tongue. We leave it all the time in the forest and this has never happened. And then we think, you know, it, this is a small campground. There's not a lot of people there and we just thought it would be safe at a campground and, and it's gone. So you never, know, you never know. And you know, you always ask us, are you afraid to leave your stuff? Are you afraid to leave your stuff? And it's just a risk that you take. And the crazy thing for me is I was like, what if we were sleeping in there? What if I was sleeping in there and Cody was gone hunting or something and the truck was gone? Like, it's just crazy. I just want to give you guys, let you know what's going on. And we're here right now. Molly is wonderful over here. She's trying to get, let everybody know. We've already got people, like I said, on the road. So. And it's only been, did you tell them how long it's been? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's only been like two hours, probably, or an hour and a half. Yeah. Time. So um, we're in good spirits and we will let you guys know what's going on here in a little bit. So everything's been filed with the police and now we've got to run into town because I had some checkbooks in that trailer and we've got to go to the bank because we have to be present to change the account together. Well, that's the plan right now. No yeah, we've updates. got the sheriff involved, the state park uh, rangers, because this is a federal offense, I found out. Since this is a federal crime, this will go uh, to the FBI as well because uh, it was on state, or it was on federal property. And everybody keeps saying that it, it's probably around here somewhere because of uh, deer season just I will, started. I will tell you this. So we were talking to the park, uh, the sheriff, and he said that they just had to cut one of the locks that we had on our trailer. And he said that it took over two and a half hours to cut the lock. So we know that they didn't cut the lock. They either loaded it up on a trailer, a flatbed trailer, or it's someone here locally that has it. So we got the bank account, we got a new bank account because of the checks and Kelly's calling the insurance company right now because we got to have a game plan. You got to figure out what you're going to do next. And we're thinking that we're going to have to get another trailer just because I got a feeling it's somewhere in somebody's shop and they're pulling the stickers off of it. The more I think about it, I'm going to try to sell everything. But I can't give y'all beautiful nature shots like I wanted to. So check out these trees because it's fall. I was, I had such great plans of trying to get some cool uh, fall content, but Hey, things happen. And look what just happened. We just had a flat. So let's, uh, let me get that fixed and uh, see what we can do.
so I got the tire put on and it does not look good. It's actually uh, got a massive gash in it. That thing just split open right there. Something big went in there, so let's go see what we can do. They ended up not being able to get the tire we were needing, so we're gonna have to wait on that. It's gonna be next week before we can get a tire for the Dodge. The good news is that we thought we were about to pick up the Hummer and we might be able to pick up the Hummer because it's at the very last leg. The only problem we're having is that we have to go out to the National Forest to pick up all of our stuff because we are getting to stay at a friend's house here locally and we're going to take that option. I know we're not done living on this vlog, you know, things happen, but now we're at Walmart because we have to get a tub to get our bedding that we still have, which we still have a few things, so that's Hopefully good. it's still there. Yeah. Kelly said you I wouldn't be surprised is if it's gone. Yeah, I'm not even going to be shocked. Let's head out to the National Forest and pick up the tent and stuff and see if it's still there. Just made it back to camp and we're gonna show you guys all that we have left. So we have our shower tent left and a towel. And then we have our table, the last of our very delicious purified water, our dirty, dirty clothes, clothes tub. tub. The good news is we have all our clothes. We have our dishes that I cook with and eat no um, silverware or, or cooking utensils, but the coffee press is in there. And we also don't have our Dutch oven or our uh, the pressure cooker. Pressure cooker's gone. This is the only tent that we have now. And all our stuff inside. Um, yeah. Hey, we still got our oven mitts though. That's important to have. Yeah. We already know we're gonna have to buy another trailer. I mean, we're not even gonna get in our my hopes heart, up yeah, that gonna we're gonna get up. it back. And then we're running into another issue. We can't stay here in Arkansas with winter coming. No, we'll waiting to, to find the trailer. We will literally freeze to death. So we're gonna get all this put up and taken down real quick so we can hurry up and get back to town. getting dark and we have a place to stay in town in Little Rock so we're gonna head that way maybe get something to eat because we haven't eaten anything all day we didn't even eat breakfast and y'all know us we always eat breakfast but it's not over we'll see you guys tomorrow we'll figure out what we're gonna our next move is gonna be so we'll see you in the morning well it's another day and it's a beautiful day and we thought the best way that we could clear our minds is just to be outside so we found a little area and we're just hanging out outside. Yeah. So we spent all day yesterday reaching out to all the sponsors who have provided us with gear like the Jolka system and the, the Jackery. Jackery solar panels. Because we still have the Jackery itself that was in the mm -hmm. truck to see if they would send things back to us and continue mm -hmm. supporting us that way. So we're going to wait and see if they reply. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did all day yesterday. And we reached out to some other companies that we've been using the products and had never thought to even reach out to because we already had it right so we're going to try to go that route and if you saw last night the things that we still have is the big tent the mm -hmm. bedding because that was all set up at camp thankfully we still at least have one tent and the bedding but we don't have the tent bag so i've already gone online and tried to order the tent bag just so that we can keep it uh protected it protected and in good shape and same with the shower tent mm -hmm. we had that set up but so we, we don't have, have shower the, but no bag yeah no bag uh, so we got some cordage for that and tried to get a bag for that as well. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what else did we have? We had all the electronics. That yes. was a big one. Yes. Cameras, drones. Laptops. Laptops. We had all of that. The solar power banks, mine and his, we had both of those in the truck. In her dish tub. We had yes. the black dish tub set out, but we had the cooker and all our food and seasonings. And the utensils I cook with, all of that was gone. So. All that was gone because the utensils and rolling pin and spatula and knives and all that were in mm -hmm. the trailer below that cooker we don't use yeah. that's attached in the refrigerator. So and also, all the kayak camping gear. I also did some research. Um, I mean, we're, we're hopeful, but we kind of are thinking that they're not going to find the trailer. Just because, I mean, I think they know that they took something that people are going to be looking for that had a logo on it, and I think they just have it in hiding. And if not, they've already pulled the the, lo the stickers off. Mm -hmm. So we're already trying to prepare for our next step because we cannot stop. We have to keep going. We were supposed to be leaving this coming week. Today is mm -hmm. Sunday, and we're we were supposed, supposed to be, be leaving, leaving Friday. Yeah. So we've got to get the ball rolling. We have to keep going. So I've already been doing some research on trying to find a new trailer and we do have leads on a new trailer. Which we'll vlog that when we start heading that way. Yes. Gosh, so we'll that's have long something exciting to show you guys in a oh, couple of days. And guess what? The bear is about to be repaired. We mm -hmm. should be getting her this week too. Yep. So Very we've excited. Got that exciting news. So there is exciting things still happening. We know that this is a setback, but you know, bad things do happen and it's just been a crazy month. It really oh, has. And yesterday when we posted the video telling y'all the update, we want to say thank you to all your comments. Yeah. You you are it's awesome to have supporters like you, mm -hmm. Domai family. We consider y'all all family. Just it the, is awesome. The community to have outreach with us. is really strong and we are really grateful for that. And one thing is you can never lose faith, guys. Mm -hmm. You just got to pick up and keep moving on because it's just things. Mm -hmm. As long as we weren't hurt, that's good. Yeah. I mean, we can still film. We can still move forward. And the biggest thing we for us is out. not losing faith and God just being with us. That's the big one because mm -hmm. he's got a plan. I guarantee yeah, it. Yeah, he does. Guarantee it. Something good is going to come out of all this. Keep your head awesome. up, babe. Yeah. You're so pretty. <laughs> So we just wanted to um, share this with you guys. Um, hopefully we can be camping soon. Yes, we already missed camping. <laughs> we so woke bad. up this morning, we were like, God, it's so beautiful outside. Um, we missed it. Yeah, we're staying with uh, a friend of ours and we already missed being in a tent. Mm -hmm. Tells you how much we Crazy. love this life. If anybody questions, do we make, do we have a regret? choosing this life no we no. love this life and this has not deterred us we are going to go full security oh yeah uh, thank on you the new trailer we are we didn't know that gps trackers for your trailer was a thing until this incident mm -hmm. and we are definitely going to go hardcore yeah locks it's not going to be a playing game anymore the next yeah. person that steals it they're gonna have to work hard for it they're gonna have to work real hard and i'll have a lot more respect for them yeah <laughs> i'll be like if you had to get it you, you gotta get it I mean, really they had determined. to Yeah. But I had to give y'all, we're going to be closing it out now, but I was guaranteed to try to get y'all to some fall colors before we leave. So we're going to get the drone up. We're going to end it here, and we will catch you on the other. We'll see y'all next time.